fairly many Air Force members and YouTube watchers, funny enough, to uh, the special, kind of, because, um, yeah, if you're watching this, then this, then, well, Heaven's Gate has ended. It is over. It is finito. However, something interesting happened, kind of, I mean, and it is, um, as you can see, if you remember, in the first Heaven's Gate video, the menu screen has, well, it was kind of the same as you can look at, except for this option. And that is because um, the Steam version that I also have, because I bought this game twice, has a diary option, which gives some little insights. And um, yeah, I've thought, why not have to set a little extra, like literally extra. This is recorded of the stream that happened back in February last year. And yeah, before the supercut is coming out, because oh boy, it will come out in a few weeks. <clears throat> and yeah, that is why, well, diary. As far as I got to know, it's about good old Henrietta Wallholz. Well, inside what is happening in well, in the true realm of Hello Charlotte episode 3. So, yeah. Of course, everything that you hear in the in this or in the yeah, in this whole video with audio is just added in because <clears throat> heaven's gate no audio and uh, yeah let's uh, start number one one day a mother of a young family brought home a doll she did so out of necessity rather than on a whim or out of strong desire it wasn't the kind of doll you'd normally see on the shelves of a large supermarket. It wasn't a particularly beautiful model, being pudgier and noisier than her peers. Her insides were made out of slime that always seemed to ooze out of her nose and mouth. Ooh. But the mother seemed to be content with those unsightly effects. Also, it seems it's just text. So it's even it's even worse. Fish, fish me was editing this. Yes. Especially if he gets fish, yeah. Mm, the question is also when will I edit this? Because I'm a little fun fact here. This is recorded before I have the editing stream where I edit the last Heaven Skate video. So, um, yeah. <laughs> little fun fact here, by the way. Hmm. It all was supposed to melt into a sticky, dripping wet, foul smelling glue that would keep the mother's marriage from falling apart after all. The father didn't want to keep the item, but to his disappointment, the shop didn't accept any returns. Ow. The doll became a fitting addition to the house interior, for she fit perfectly among the counterfeit porcelain tea sets and useless trinkets stuffed onto the shelves. Pictures reflecting her snotty face filled up the family albums, a thousand fabricated certificates of a model family life. One day the glue went dry and the family fell apart. As the porcelain plates hit the walls and the trinkets fell from the shelves, the doll remained still. The slime inside of her turned into water and flooded the room. The woman who bought it left the house, leaving all her former possessions behind. A new owner soon came, and Henry was born. You mean, who, who Henry? Henry? You mean like, um, Evans Gate Henry? Hello Charlotte, episode 3 Henry? Reasons of one? Also, I think um, it's better to have no lightning in here, so, so you have at least something bright in the text. Okay, sorry. Um, number two. 
I never felt like the others treated me like a human being. Rather, I was an object, a community in a human disguise. To my family, I was akin to an odd, particularly expensive piece of furniture that they kept around despite having bought a replacement. To my classmates, I was a wind-up doll they could push around by provoking it, laughing at how clumsy it was. Due to almost too cliche parental neglect, I was never taught proper hygiene. So my peers made sure to laugh at the way I smelled after forgetting to shower for weeks and the way dirt gathered around my fingernails. They hid my clothes after PE and called me names, but it didn't matter. I didn't matter. Jesus. Like Jesus, Jesus of the crisp. Jesus of the crisp. <laughs> you have a crisp with a Jesus on it. <laughs> uh, okay. It's weird to say to call myself my to say my Roman because of the. the <coughs> I mean, technically, but practically. Uh, or free. As soon as puberty hit, I became even more convinced that I was no more than an object. Maybe it's because I used to eat too much, or maybe due to genetics, I grew to be more well endowed than other girls my age. Okay, wait. Is it, okay, the diary is about Henri from True Realm during Heaven uh, Hell Episode Three's story. Which doesn't make sense because, because episode 3. Which part of episode 3 is actually happening? Is it the, the actual episode 3 or is it or during episode 0 part, which is then before episode 1, 2? And, which is also conflicting because um, if you haven't watched the episode 3, all the videos which were released this year. <laughs> Oh, and it's getting complicated even more. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Which is also funny because the currently, when I record this, this is this is before the first video of Heaven's of Hello Charlotte episode three is going to release. So, um, <clears throat> little fun fact I'll do that too. Disgusted looks I used to get turned into something more primal and feral. Last. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope, no, nope, no, nope. brain, just no, nope. no, nope. don't shut, 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 shut the fish up. Start for attention. I wanted to be desired. A gift needs pretty wrapping. A realization came under my modest clothes. I wore stockings and garter belts. Ask for expensive underwear as a birthday present. We're still, con we're still reading this uh, about Arnie. Right? I mean... <clears throat> anyway. Began paying more attention to my hygiene. My hair became perfectly combed. Not a single strand out of place. Porcelain skin nurtured by evening, masks, and face cream. Fake, but no longer unwanted. Oh no, oh no, oh no, somebody... Mm. Appearance is better than, than anything else. Because if I, if I look pretty, then I am pretty for everybody else and everybody wants me now. Mm, I don't like this fat picture very much. <laughs> People I never talked to began asking me out. Of course. God spawned around me, talking about boys, periods, and reality shows I couldn't bring myself to care about, but watched anyway. Okay. It was something new, something I didn't know I longed for. Number four. My first kiss was with. Hey! My first kiss was with a girl. Also, just for the record here, even though I record this, doesn't mean that I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. 
and every kind of and I I if I if my mind just suddenly just goes hey or ooh, I want to tell a joke and this is what is actually happening it's not faked which is why I like streaming because it's actually showing my showing actually that the thing that you see in on stream is the same thing that you see off stream too just a little thought there <clears throat> it was at a drinking party and everyone was drunk and horny enough to play some sex ties obviously meant for all the crowds how old were you how old were you at this point thank you please i didn't like her but i liked how i felt oh oh mm, oh okay i decided i wanted more oh oh number five Silky shirts, short skirts, knee socks. Fluttering lashes, flawless mascara. Not a single pimple on my skin. I didn't want my... In mm -hmm. yep, yep. Put, the, put the thing in there, Roman. Thank you. <laughs> Editing me. Which is also Roman. So. <laughs> it didn't matter that I was stuffed with chunks of meat swarming with maggots. Okay, now I'm, I'm, uh, what? <laughs> Grooming, wriggling, eating me from the insides. Hmm, okay, it doesn't mean either you, you did, even though you look pretty on the outside, you're in your, on the inside, it's more like I hate myself for doing this. Question? Number six. Charles Isla wasn't a particularly attractive person. Some people would like to argue about this. I'm I'm somebody who who says yes. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, anyone in the whole series is. I mean, except Andrew somehow. Personality-wise, <coughs> anyway. That that aside, his above-average looks. Something about his attitude gave away that something wasn't right. And it was before she met. Maybe it was the way he scratched his skin and bit his nails, or the way he star stared into empty space, muttering something. There was no Wi Fi on his flip phone. I mean, it, it, it's a flip phone, it's not a Samsung flip or fold or whatever. No, it is a flip phone, an ordinary flip phone. You need to connect. Yet he was constantly tired, taking it out of his pocket in short intervals. My bro, weather is not so interesting anymore. Typing a message to nowhere, setting an alarm clock off and back on. Oh, he tries to look like he, he does something on the phone so people don't talk to him. I shut up. <laughs> However, I don't do this. <laughs> a foolproof tactic to ease rising anxiety. Or or that too. In class, he would often respond to the name of a girl classmate. And everyone would start laughing. Charlie? Or you mean like, um, Charlotte? He'd cover his mouth, mortified, realizing that the teacher's questions question was directed at him. Also, oh, okay. Unless, I mean, Scarlet. Then, hmm. Stifled mutterings, jerky movements. Constantly on the edge, anxious and detached. Charles Eiler was far from pleasant. Ahem, <clears throat> heaven's gate to Charles Eiler would like to talk with this Charles Eiler. Thank you very much, I think. What now would be interesting if the all the characters from Heaven's Gate talk with their main story counterpart? Hmm. It is a thought that I would like to see, but at the same time. Boom. Yet I found us to be similar. It felt like there was something eating him from the inside. Maybe he was stuffed full of maggots too. Please be picked. Be, please be. 
imaginary maggots, not really with maggots because. Mm, ah, oh, wow. Number seven. We were sitting in an empty classroom. I was absent mindedly scrolling down the feed on my phone. Ida was finishing his homework for the next day. For, for the next day? He did all the assignments during breaks and got excellent marks for it. Hmm. I never got why he was in such a rush. So, uh, what's your answer? Yes or no? Ida didn't look me in the eye. Instead, he was looking at the spot between me and the window frame. Ah, the, the, I look at you, but actually I don't look at you because if I look at you, I, I, I can't. Makes sense. What? Uh, so, sorry, what were we talking about? I couldn't hear you well in this noise. Alice's voice echoed throughout the empty, early, quiet classroom. Everyone else had gone home a long time ago. Okay, I think the British um, couldn't hear you well in this noise is probably because even though there is no actual noise. As far as I know, some people have some kind of noise. Like, it's more like a feeling. I think. Hmm. I started to get annoyed. Like, I was saying, will you date me? Oh, seconds passed. Ella muttered this indistinguishable word, still distracted by something. Either that, or he just goes, huh, oh, what, what, what is this dating thing? I mean, because now we know he is, he's ace. I think, yes. I mean, asexual. So, hmm. He was visibly uncomfortable. Okay. It is not a yes or no, bro. <laughs> well, um, he... What? You're okay with it? I mean... Again, an okay could be a yes. Could be a yes. But it could also be a no, because he was like... Okay, I have no idea what I should actually answer. So, which is, for example, if somebody asks me, Do you like this and this? Or that? And I will just go, yes, because I like both. <clears throat> I mean, why not? If you want to, listen, I I need to go home quick. I'm sorry. I need to go to his mother, his mummy. His, I mean, his uh, mummy, not M-O-M-M-Y. I mean, M-U-M-M-Y. Like, a mummy. Like... His mom is not alive anymore because it's more like she has been in infected by a disease. Again, for more context, watch the Hello Charlotte episode 3, the whole playthrough, or the supercut which comes out I think, in October. Ah, in October, yes. His words made no sense. Allah grabbed his bag and stormed out of the classroom. What was that about? Number eight. Henry used to be a high achiever in elementary. By middle school, he had lost all motivations to study. Eventually he stopped leaving his room. You need to spend more time with your brother, father had told me on numerous occasions, each time more insistently. His wife nodding behind his back. You mean like your mom or or somebody else? As if this smelly freeloader didn't get enough attention for from them already. So sometimes I sat on the phone in my brother's room, listening to the click clack sound of Henry's keyboard. It was always dark in his room. The air inside was damp. Laced with the lingering stench of instant noodles and used tissues littering the floor. I hope he's using this for his nose because if it's something else, then. Mm. Sometimes Henry got tired of playing and flopped onto the bed near me. He was not the talkative kid, so I never got what he was thinking. 
Sometimes he'd crawl onto me and bury his head in my chest, just laying there as I blankly stared into space. Ugh. I think I know what he tries to do at no. But at the same time, is, is he actually your, your blood? Is he related by blood or not? Which is a can of worms on itself. <clears throat> Which I don't want to go through him here or ever. In the darkness, barely illuminated by LED lights. He told me about his two-dimensional sweethearts. Okay, maybe he just, he doesn't do anything. So, mm. Like then. Henry brought out his smartphone and shoved it into my face. Like, <laughs> It's space idol greedy. All of these are from the anniversary pool. He muttered, scrolling down his card collection. Ah, okay. Hmm, <laughs> how much did you spend on her? How much? Liar. Uh, uh, Henry? A reluctant pause. She's worth it. What? I feel tired. Hey, shouldn't you be interested in real girls at your age? No, they're gross. I mean, he's young, so... Uh, am I gross too? Oh, now he's getting into... Kinda. I mean, he, you're his sister, so uh, <laughs> it's classic younger brother <clears throat> or brother, brother sister relationship. Considering that I have played a game with a brother and the sister soon is, or at one point, is also very interesting. I would not spoil it here or entirely. There will be a playthrough probably if I play it before the full release, before everything is finished of this game because it's it is currently released but not fully and i don't want to talk about it more because hmm, if you have watched that stream if it happened already then you yeah, know if not well <laughs> be ready <laughs> be ready for oh fish no and I hope I will not get that ending because if I get if I get that ending, then it'll fish me. Henry squeezed closer to me, too close for comfort. Unsustainable. I could smell his foul breath. Henry was extremely bad at maintaining hygiene, just like I had once been. Maybe it was in our genes. Okay, he's related, but by blood probably. Or, or half. Huh. You must be starved for body contact without realizing it. I thought absent mindedly. Edit me, please don't put anything in there if you if if I think what you're gonna put in there, I'm gonna I will not. I will not. I will not. Hey, stop it. You're too close. Go ask mom to cuddle you. Henry didn't listen and only buried his head deeper into my chest. Right? Stop it. He was like a toddler. If if he starts... If he uh, starts sucking, then no. <laughs> mom and dad only buy me things. They don't care about me. Believe me, they do. Unlike you, I didn't have that luxury. Say, why won't you leave the room? It's pointless. You're pointless. 39 buried. Zero found. I can imagine I am. Why do I always look up there when I know that I'm looking, should not should look in, in that direction? Because yes. that is where, where I sit during editing streams. Hi. Please put in the babe there. Dead, please. Dead. You know which one. I know. I, I, maybe you could make it even worse. No. If you can make it worse, then. Oh, boy. No, I don't. What is? Everything. There's nothing I want to do in life. But 
bro. What? The only times I feel happy are when I play games or sleep. I mean, I I don't know if you just said something, but I I'm just looking at you. I'm not which means you I'm looking at myself, which yes. means also fish. Yes, but I don't want to die either. <laughs> you can record this whole thing, by the way, if you if you want. Just 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 saying. I'm doing that. I mean, you can enter it later. I mean, it's just text. It's just read. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. Huh? Ahem. So I'll just stay here forever. <laughs> How pathetic! Number nine. Jolly, you need to see a doctor. I gave Eilers' hand a firm squeeze. He was shaking. We were sitting on the cold floor in the boys' bathroom. What? There were around 15 minutes until the third period ended. I was trying to ignore the writing on the wall. Warhol is this. <coughs> Why? And I responded with a minute long delay. <laughs> Why do I think right now? Of I of Charles, uh, like uh, sending, se getting the message, sending it to into the servers where his AI is actually running on, gets the response and then gets sent back to the text to speech. Then <laughs> uh, anyway, what would they do? Stuff me with pills? I mean, at very least, it'll help. It didn't help, mother. I'm talking about you. Huh. Charlie, please, stop pretending you're okay. If you're not planning on telling me what's wrong, then at the very least, try to seek help yourself. If I say anything, she'll throw my pet cat out of the window, or worse. Oh, the first time I with off Scarlet. Oh, okay, I understand. I didn't understand at all, but I know it was shaking. Yeah, Scarlet. He was completely terrified. I'm terrified too of him and his mind. Again, um. How can two realms Scarlet Isla in fact uh, somehow manipulate Charles so much that she could even hold him out of the window? It's not your fault, is all I could say. Unable to find the right words. He can comfort. I squeezed his hand hard. Number 10. Burke, okay, no. Only at 15. <laughs> it was the end of the year party. End of the year party? New Year's Eve party or New Year's party. There was something about the thrill of blaring music and fleeting conversations that I cannot quite put into words. There, I was able to forget who I am and who I cannot be. He must have been a guy from a parallel class. Pretty handsome, I had to admit. Care for a drink? He asked me. Oh, Vincent, probably. Sure, I replied and took the plastic cup from his hands. The, gro the room gradually began to tilt. Are you okay? He asked. I'll take you to rest upstairs. There was something in my drink, I bladedly realized. So I was led to the upper floor. Uh-oh, somebody got the roofied! And, um, <clears throat> oh no. As my consciousness faded, I thought of Eiler. I prayed, it's having a weird idea, Goldie, and a, a weird picture in general, and no! Like, hmm! It was dawning at me that he didn't want to dawn. 
to possess, to consume. Okay. He didn't want me. Didn't want anything I was able to offer. That sounds very not good. He wanted something that couldn't be seen. Something immaterial and ethereal. He, want, he wanted to be saved. But I am merely an archer. My head was filled with mocking comments from my classmates. Dice at a party. Constant expectations. Graffiti on the wall. I was trying so hard. Editing me. <laughs> you know what's about in there. <laughs> a fish? No. Simply out of no. Just because of no. Because of copyright. That's basically it. Um, yeah. I was trying my best. It's, if this is part, if it's, if it's part of the song. Because at the end, it doesn't really matter. That's why was I still not enough? Why, well, when I came to, I was surrounded by girls, concerned yet relieved. Looks on their faces. I wanted to go home. Did, did, did somebody, did somebody? Because I think somebody did. And if somebody did, then it, mm, concerning age. Unless, mm, unless it's, unless, I mean, we know Charles is 18, but the question is exactly, which Charles? I mean, it's definitely Heaven's Gate. Charles is definitely eighteen, but uh, but true wrong. Uh, Hello, Charlotte. Episode three. Charles is also eighteen. Question. Also, Age of Honor. I need to get this. If 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 I get it, please, please put, put the, in the middle right now. In big, very big, the age of family. Okay, thank you very much for editing me. Shut the fish up. <clears throat> Number 11. I woke up Monday to hear the debates in the kitchen. It was, a pro it was probably about Henry. Nothing ever changed. I snuck into his room, trying not to make a sound. He was caught into a ball under the desk, shaking, muttering something. Henry, it's me. Come out. Stop hiding. Leave me alone. What happened? They want to fix me. Send me to therapy. Oh. And? I don't want to be fixed. Every time I hear the word fixed or saved. Do I need to, sit to, to take the stance again? Because... Um, Again, fixing someone or saving someone mostly turns into, hmm, yes, I have this wonderful tool called knife in my hands and I can fix somebody with it. Sometimes it's something else, but you get what I mean there. <laughs> Which is the reason why, you know, Mori, I nearly got the, a bad ending. <clears throat> you want to save me? I have a feeling that if saving Basil could mean even something good, but after after this happening, uh, I'm scared that actually this means aha, uh -huh, I save I save Basil with my knife. And we give me a break. <laughs> Just look how much they cared about you, about your useless, stinky, perverted. I had to calm down. Then, what do you want? To be with... Guri... 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 I just always don't remember all this one character of this one game that I don't want to talk about because... Mm, because the developers has still not released the game. It's been 10 years, boy. Guri is not a person. I don't give a crap. Hey, language! Ich gebe darauf keinen. <lacht> 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 
or, or do you want to do Japanese? Because I can't do Japanese. <laughs> uh, jokes. You just don't want to make any effort to gain positive emotions in real life. And we got quiet for a moment. I'm tired, was his only answer. I'm tired too. Number 12. Charles Eiler started taking pills. Oh. No more jerky movements. Ah. No more staring into space. Ah. There was a permanent smile plastered on his face. Ah. He seemed alarmingly normal. Uh, we went out for food and movies. Oh. I made sure to Instagram all the food we ate and the places we visited. I mean, we got Google already in the heavens again, but Instagram, just Instagram. It's like I'm Twittering and tweeting or I'm YouTubing, which is also something weird. Nobody said, everybody says I'm Googling, I'm Instagramming and tweeting, but not I, I, I YouTube or I'm going to Twitch later. I'm only okay with Twitch, makes sense. Make sense. I want to kick later? No. I want to peer tube? No. I want to Odyssey? Okay, Odyssey is something really nice. I want to own? Okay, now <laughs> I want to own later. <laughs> with own cast being something like that. But <clears throat> it would surely become the proof of our normalcy. People just uh, but then people think that you are dating, which is not the case. I talked about myself, and I actually heard me. Instead of spacing out, erratically checking his phone and muttering something under his breath. In turn, Ilo told me about Mother, about things he saw that others didn't, about the writer he admired. No, Winston. Everything was normal, just like I'd want it to be. Number 13. So, like, did you two do it already? Ah, uh, come on. Of course we did. Oh my god, for real? It seems like such a wimp, though. I bet it was the worst. I can't imagine what, what, you, what you mean, A and mm. To be honest, you deserve so much better. You aren't lying, right? I can't believe that Eiler is capable of anything more than hand holding. I mean, there's definitely a different Eiler, and this this Eiler is not a good one. <laughs> yeah, like, did he funny man up? If a guy doesn't want you, then there must be something wrong with his. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you'll have to take action and help him overcome it somehow. Otherwise, your relationship is doomed. Lol. Right, Henri? Lol. Yeah. But he doesn't want to get into his pains. Which, understandable. I mean, it would be also. Stop, brain. This doesn't insult you, I asked, showing out of the group chat. I lied to them about everything, but, you know. Oh, so you, you, you didn't go into his... Okay, good. Or anything else, which makes sense. Makes fishing tense, totally. Charles yawned, shaking his head in disinterest. You only get insulted when you view something as insulting. Z says, he elaborated. So, no, it doesn't. Uh, what the hell? I thought you'd be hurt or something. Just laughed mischievously. What? You wanted to console me, Miss Verhol? I turned away, browse forward. I got upset, you know. They don't know you at all. He was taken aback at first, then ruffled my hair with his blister, blistered hand. Sorry. You know what Stoic says? Say? You're provoked by your own judgment of the situation. Who and what? 
And we can't expect people to view us the way we perceive ourselves. Shut up out there, by the way. Shut you up, bitch. So don't worry about me. Here he goes again, apologizing. I was very sure that even if he understood all of this, some part of him must have been affected. <clears throat> Does it uh, have red hair? Like blood, really like bl red, red hair, not like normal red hair, but <clears throat> and red eyes. But his words were somehow reassuring. Did he feel the same way, the same when he talked to C, I wonder? You know, the other C, which is also... Why is his name actually C and not Vivi, like Vincent? I mean, okay, then... The, 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 it's like via commas of the Armin, because R stands for Roman. And it sounds cool. <coughs> Feeling above everything, unaffected by surrounding opinions. That person really must be someone strong if they were able to influence Charles to this extent. If I stay by his side, maybe I'll be saved one day too, I thought. And that thought alone felt comforting enough to help me get through another day. Charles turned on the horror movie and I fell asleep on his shoulder. Personal space be damned. That was the last conversation we had before everything went to crap. And I can imagine what you mean by that. I say only, oh, hello, trials. The god of his world was no more. Oh. Number 15. Maggot foot lettuce. <laughs> I don't even know this junk, junk food foot lettuce. <laughs> that would be better, though. Because of was it something else? I mean, it was definitely Charlie's, but I don't know. Was it junk foods, or what was the more actually? I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. anyway. Months later, we moved to another town. It was never my decision to make. I left most of my possessions at the old home, and we played Pokemon during the entire trip. Then vomited onto my shirt. Car sick. Okay. I pet his oily hair, letting my nails sink into flakes of chronic saboria and dead skin. I thought of Charles once again. Without anything solid to ground him, wouldn't he float away? Huh. I imagine right now a Alone in the form of Charles Eiler, just flying away. <laughs> in the last moments we spent together, it had already felt like he wasn't present. As if the maggots swarming inside of him had already consumed his insides. How unfair. Five. Five what? Five what? Five what? Hey? How are you, Charlie? You should leave him alone, Henrietta Warhol. I know I'm being serious. So am I. Please stop writing us. Who's us? Why? You're a hindrance. Ah, this is, this is, this is Scarlet. If you continue pes pestering us, I'll make your personal information public. You have things to hide, don't you? Ari, hi. I'm sorry for the last time. Uh, feel free to block me. Okay, now you sound like Charles. Apology accepted. Hi. Are you okay? More or less. How's mom? Thank you, Shu. I'm trying to spend more time with her. That's nice. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Trying to adjust to a new place. Henry's an idiot and blew a whole load of money on online gambling. So that took away his debit card. Why does... Why? If you know he will do it, why does he... has a debit card. Debit card. You can put the image away. <laughs> me. 
Debit card. Damn. I have some right, I guess. I'm working as a waitress right now, so I have my own income. Oh, nice. But I guess most of this money will come to my parents anyway. Ah, because... Hold on, hold, hold on a minute. Why? Debts and all. Oh. Do you have plans for uni or... I'm taking a year off. Can't deal with it right now. And I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, only the job you're crazy about can get a, get you a good income. Same, same. Or just luck, really. Again, same. High education won't really promise you a good place in life. Nice pasta. Why do I want to make a joke, but I don't have a joke? Did you get into med uni? I don't know, in a month. I don't really remember the day of the exam. Uh oh. What will you do if you don't pass? At myself, I guess? <laughs> no, just kidding. Is that funny? I know, I'm being serious. I have mother to take care of, so don't worry. Free. Henry, hi, how are you? Hard. Hard emojis? Girls. Ella, is it really you? Of course it's me. Uh, okay. I'm fine, just having trouble adjusting to a new place. This feels very familiar. Didn't make any friends yet. Oh. I don't want to pretend to be someone else just to fit in, but no one really wants to hang out with me when I'm myself. I feel alone. Stop down there! Are you doing okay? I'm okay. A lot of access, especially ex as not to talk about the remnants though. You, Charlie, I'm, I'm scared of you, hmm? of what you're becoming. I thought I didn't understand you before, but now I feel like I don't understand you at all. I'm really not sure what to do. You need to seek help. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I get. I, I get the picture now. And. Oh. Oh, no. Me not like it, Dad. And you shut up, though, there. I didn't even say it, I think, you idiot. And. One. I'm so sorry for reading this. It's me. I'm not okay. I'm not sure if I'm myself anymore. Sometimes I just close my eyes and then find myself at an unfamiliar place several hours later. Did, did she? No, it can't be. But did she? I passed the exams, but I'm failing classes hard. I feel like vomiting just looking at people. They don't look human. Oh, in, uh, infection. I'm afraid if you meet again, you won't look at human, too. So please don't try to find me. Mother is not okay. She's not responding anymore. Oh, she... Everything is distorted. And I'm clearly bothering you. I... I need to put a stop to this. Those were the last messages from Charles. His son went dead, and he never replied back. Trying to cope with this reality, I try to forget about him. Number 16. A year later, I found out that Eilers no longer lived at the old address. Oh, he moved? Thus, Eilers had disappeared without a trace. Huh. I want to think he's okay, but I know better. The little Eilers was buried in the local cemetery. Is this the name of his mother? Which makes sense, but at the same time, does this mean that the little, little puppeteers in the fake, fake realm, or in the fake realm story, or in the main Hell Charlotte story, are based on his mother? Death is all his father. Mm. Oh, 
Looks like Charles took care of her burial before disappearing. I won't, I won't live longer than Mother would, he once told me. He stayed true to his words. I like to think that his soul went where she is. <clears throat> Perhaps he's lying on the bottom of a way vast sea, his form flickering, uncertain. I want to lie down near and make sure his carcass doesn't float away, but that's a selfish wish to have. Instead, I place the bouquet on their grave and whisper their quiet prayer. Diary End Oh, well, that was a, that was a ride. <laughs> that was a that was a ride. <laughs> I don't. Do <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of well, hello Charlotte forever. Okay, not forever, but of Heaven's Gate now, and well, actually the end of well, hello Charlotte, Heaven's Gate. And also the Hello Charlotte series. I mean, there's still one game, but this game is still not released, and I'm waiting until it's released because then it's going to be game. And it's going to be <laughs> because Henry Huxley's Rehab Friday is still in development, and I am hyped for this, and I want it. I want it so much that I even fall in for rain. Because I, because I'm interested in this game. I'm interested in the Hell Shot. Again, the reason why I played Heaven's Gate and Delirium was because I was kind of interested again into Hello Shot. And now that it's been actually a year since I, over a year since I first got into the series, and now, well, we are at this point right now. I need to say, well. Despite being a little bit of a <laughs> roller coaster, it is nice. It was nice. Nice story. Nice understanding. Again, the roller coaster was more like on the philosophical kind, which understandable. And also on the mm, gore. A lot of gore. Mm, that was nice imagery that I didn't want to see or have in my head. But it was. It was but everything else. Huh. And yeah, I I just wish Eva Rain, of course, good luck with the future. Of course, they will probably not hear this, but but if they do, then yeah, I just wish them a good luck. And yeah, that that is all. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Hello Charlotte series in general, not only with the super cuts or the playthrough videos editing streams or even the original streams doesn't matter really i just hope you enjoyed and oh uh, support this i think i will put this also into the mega cup so yeah actually i could also put this as a ending for, for mm, mm, ideas <laughs> but this is again for future run. so yeah if you enjoyed this then you can always subscribe, leave a like, comment, watch the newest video here. Down there, you there's actually the whole playlist of the Hello Charlotte series. All 27 now videos. And yeah, maybe also go there with the super cuts. And yeah, I will see you in the next stream and or video. Your Herman.